What's up collectors? My name is Joe. Welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode of Statue Talk. Statue Talk is a show where I share my thoughts and opinions on upcoming statue previews, pre-orders, share with you some updates to my collection. So thanks for joining me on this week's episode. Let's hit the music and let's look at some statues. had a safe and healthy week. Before we get to this week's previews and pre-orders, I do have a couple of corrections I have to make to my recent Scarecrow premium format unboxing. Number one, the Scarecrow has a sickle and not a scythe. The scythe is the two-handed version, kind of a more of a straight edge. This is the one-handed version and it is called a sickle. Number two, those are crows on the Scarecrow box. That's why he's called Scarecrow. Get it? Three, like a dummy, I had the arm on the statue wrong the entire unboxing. This is what you get when you unbox a statue when you're tired. Scarecrow was supposed to ship out on Friday and he should have been here on Monday or Tuesday at the latest. And uh, Monday through Wednesday is when I am still working remote from home. And that would have been a great day to do an unboxing. But for some reason, he's, uh, for some reason, like the Flash, the Scarecrow shipped later than he was supposed to. He actually shipped out on Tuesday, which means he arrived to me out in Northern California on Thursday. Now, I am not uh, working remotely on Thursday and Friday anymore. I have a project and at work that I have to work on, and so I am driving into work, uh, putting in my full day and spending uh, a couple of hours in the car, which... I'm not really used to anymore. I'm getting old here. I'm not a I'm not a young man anymore. So just wanted to get those three corrections out of the way. Appreciate all the comments on the unboxing so far. A couple of you have uh, pointed out uh, those corrections, especially that arm. I can't believe I looked at the arm that uh, that <laughs> entire unboxing and didn't realize it was in, in, in the wrong position. It was uh, a right <laughs> in my face. And actually, that magnet is super strong on the arm. Uh, Scarecrow is actually in, in pieces uh, next to me because I got to glue that, that piece of the belt back on. Uh, anyway, I put him on the base for a second, put the arm in the right position, <laughs> and I was like, oh, duh, dummy, of course. But that magnet is super strong. Like I was trying to get out of the hole again. It's so strong that uh, I thought it was in the right position like a, like a dummy. So moral of this story, uh, don't unbox a statue when you're tired. I wanted to get out, get that out for you guys on Friday, but... I should have should have put it off uh, to the weekend when I had a, a little bit more energy to uh, be able to uh, enjoy it and kind of uh, uh, think clearly a little bit more. All right, so the first preview of the day comes to us uh, from Iron Studios, who have been just releasing a whole lot of statues. I haven't seen much on their Mortal Kombat line, but here they have Goro, part of their one tent scale Mortal Kombat line. One tent scale, this means this guy is only $210. He's going to arrive uh, July through September of 2021. Wow, that's like a year from now. So this is based on the original references uh, from the game. Uh, this is a hand-painted a polysone statue. Says it's limited edition, but they don't list an edition uh, size here. He's going to be, let's see, 14.1 inches tall. Love the details. You know, like I keep saying, one-tenth scale, doing, uh, doing good things. If they have all the characters in this line, that is going to look great together. And, and Goro... I've always loved that character from the original uh, video game and then uh, from the movie <laughs> that movie series as well. So that's the first statue up from Iron Studios. Now next up we have that Hulk statue that we talked about. It's going along with that Hulk Buster. This guy is also $210. This is part of that uh, one tenth scale a Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron series of statues. 
uh, from Iron Studios. Lohoka is going to arrive uh, July through uh, September of 2021. So again, about a year from now, he is made out of polystone and he's about a 10.2 inches tall. This guy is going to just look great next to that uh, Iron Studios Hulkbuster that we talked about on the last episode. Right next up, we've got a statue from a Kotobukiya. This is a, again a one tenth scale statue. Kotobukiya is a known for making smaller scale statues. They do have that fine art line, which uh, Aaron has uh, told me is a part of their one a six scale so they do a little bit uh, bigger scale statues as well but this is a part of their a star wars line this guy is from star wars the phantom menace obviously because he didn't make it uh, to any of the other episodes so spoiler alert uh, but this guy is priced at a uh, 100 he's coming out uh, january through march of 2021. So Kotobukiyo says this product brings life, brings to life every detail of the memorial, memorable, I can't read today either, Jedi Master. So this guy is made out of ABS and PVC and is 7.4 inches tall. It's good to see that the Qui-Gon is getting some love, but here's the problem with some of these smaller scale statues. When you're trying to get an actor's likeness, it's, it's a little Little bit uh, tough. That's why I say uh, anything you're gonna do with an actor's license, I like to see at one third scale and above. While uh, the likeness can be pretty okay, you're only gonna get that really uh, accurate detail and I think the, the bigger pieces uh, from what I've seen. But you know, I, I do like a Kotobukiya statues. I've had uh, a few in my collection and you know, like this isn't, uh, isn't, uh, isn't that bad, especially one tenth scale you can't uh, expect uh, too much out of there but again one tenth scale getting a lot more details good to see Qui-Gon Jinn getting some love right next up is another statue uh, from Kotobukiya this is the uh, sniper wolf from that uh, Bish Bishouju series which is a uh, one seventh scale uh, she's priced at $90 and she's gonna come out January through March of 2021 Kotobukiya, Japanese import. Kotobukiya's line of beautiful Bishouju statues have brought you amazing characters reimagined in the Japanese pretty girl style for years. Is that what that style is called? Now it's expanding to a very familiar property, a Metal Gear a Solid. So Sniper Wolf is from which game? She's part of Foxhound. She is uh, the part of the uh, original uh, Metal Gear Solid. She's got a sexy look and a little pup uh, who apparently ate his way through a, a cardboard box. Reminds me of my own uh, little husky who uh, I pretty much hated him for the first year of his life because he would chew uh, up the floor. He pull up, he pulled up our kitchen floor. He chewed holes in our wall. Uh, I just uh, <laughs> hated his guts for the first year, but now we are a uh, fast friend. So uh, this is Sniper Wolf again, reasonably priced, a uh, one seventh uh, scale statue. A lot of people like these uh, Bishouju line uh, of statues. So a good one out here for uh, all you metal gear fans out there right next up we got a statue from a company i don't know if i've ever heard of before this is the jn silent bob a polystone statue by level of 52 studios this statue is a one six scale limited edition right off the bat to 500 and price is 350 dollars going to uh, come out January, March of 2021. So the team at Level 52 Studios is thrilled to present Jay and Silent Bob, designed in partnership with director Kevin Smith and actor Jason Muse, carefully handcrafted and fine polystone. Get one six scale, this guy is 16 inches tall. So you can see, we're talking about actors' likenesses, getting a little bit better likeness there at one six scale, but still not, um, not as good as you can get at those uh, bigger scales, but uh, you get a smaller statue, uh, the likeness is is, is going to be a still a pretty good. So I'm a fan of Jay and Silent Bob. I did go see them on tour uh, maybe a year ago now. My wife uh, watches his podcasts a lot, and we pretty much uh, check out uh, all the movies of his uh, for, for better or for worse. So we are fans of Jay and Silent Bob. Jay and Silent Bob. I don't know enough 
uh, enough to spend three hundred fifty dollars on a polystone statue. But they got a lot of hardcore fans out there. Uh, the recent movie had a, a, a tour that was going around, and they were sold out a lot of the time. So I'm sure there are at least five hundred hardcore Jay and Silent Bob fans that will be uh, willing to uh, pick up uh, this piece. Next up, we have a new statue uh, from a Prime One uh, Studios. So this is a uh, Aragorn from uh, the Lord of the Rings. So they have two different versions of this statue. They have the regular and they have the deluxe version. So the regular coming in at $999, the deluxe version coming in at $1,099. So this guy is actually from uh, Return of the King. So this says, I am Isildur's heir. Fight for me and I will hold your oaths fulfilled. What say you? The Prime One Studio is proud to present the latest addition to the Premier Masterline series. So this guy is a one quarter scale. And again, we're seeing a statue of a real life person, a real life actor. And as we go up in scales, we're seeing a better likeness uh, as well. So uh, this attention grabbing statue features one of the main protagonists, Aragorn, the heir of Isildur. And I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Maybe that's because I'm more of a Hobbit fan. Again, I said it again. So he's leading the army of the dead into battle during the War of the Ring. So I actually was watching this entire series uh, probably before lockdown began. I bought this a uh, deluxe kind of a uh, set with all the movies off of Amazon. It was uh, it was Blu-ray and it ended up being a dud because half the discs actually wouldn't work. That's what I get for buying a, a cheap non-US version of the set. But I actually was making my way. I made my way through The Hobbit and I, I was making my way through A Lord of the Rings. It kind of stopped in the middle, so I got stuck there. It's been a while since I uh, watched the uh, full Lord of the Rings uh, trilogy, but you see that picture right there looks like a really uh, good likeness. He comes with the Army of the De Dead designed theme base, which actually looks very cool. And then he comes with a three swappable portrait, so shouting portrait, a focused portrait, and a normal portrait. But Prime One is doing uh, some pretty good stuff there with the Lord of the Rings, so I know. Uh, those uh, fans are, are going to be excited for more from this line. I did want to take a moment to uh, highlight a couple of pieces that are actually all Ready available at the Prime One Studio website, but we got a couple of these uh, Prime One Studio statues that have been available over there. Now available on the uh, Sideshow website. The relationship between Sideshow and Prime One has kind of been a little weird lately. You know, some stuff shows up on the Prime One website, some stuff is exclusively on the Sideshow website, and then some stuff like this uh, God of War statue shows up months later. So we got this God of War now available on Sideshow. Personally, I like to order from a Sideshow rather than uh, Prime One because the shipping prices are going to be a lot better because Sideshow is going to get them all on a huge boat and they're not going to ship to you uh, from UPS or whatnot. They've also got this uh, Superman Deluxe version from the uh, Dark Knight Returns also available on the Sideshow website so people can uh, save some money. And look, Deluxe versions over there as well. So you're going to get the uh, upgraded uh, version so too, but not necessarily uh, any exclusive pieces. Right next up, we're heading on over to some uh, pop culture shock. Check out their Michael Myers a slasher edition a statue. This is a quarter scale statue from uh, Halloween. He's priced at the $575. This is the Sideshow exclusive version. So uh, limited edition though is a uh, to be determined. He's expected to come out February through April of 2021. So quarter scale, he measures a menacing a 73 inches tall. Oh, he comes with a jack-o'-lantern that lights up. That's really cool. So he's got sculpted floorboards on the base and around the exterior is a highly detailed faded facade of the haunted Haddonfield home. But actually, this looks a really, a really cool. So he's got that uh, uh, James Kirk altered uh, mask, iconic mask. Um, really, really uh, cool. This is the uh, Slasher exclusive edition. It includes an alternate bloody knife that can interchange with the clean knife. Additionally, the Slasher edition includes an exclusive light up pumpkin, a proximity piece capturing all of the frightening details 
this festive icon as seen in the film's opening credits. So I actually really like this uh, film franchise. Not sure about them retconning the story because I kind of dug the old school Halloween story as weird and as convoluted uh, as it was. You know, it's a horror movie. The story gets convoluted and mixed up. Uh, glad to see a pop culture shock uh, making uh, mixed media statues. I personally like mixed media in my statues. Some people don't. But I think this character is, is one that uh, should have uh, some mixed media. I think you got to have that coveralls as mixed media. And I think it's a, I think it's perfect. So good stuff here from Pop Culture Shock. Right now we've got a new statue here from uh, or a uh, statue bust or actually they're calling it a one to one scale non wearable mask. What is a mask if it's non wearable? What does that even mean? You can't wear a mask. Is it a mask? That's the uh, philosophy a question of the day. I think it just basically means it's not the whole head, but rather just this part of the head, maybe. Maybe just this part of the head. Okay. Uh, but this is from uh, Pure Arts. Um, I don't know. It says a T-800 Battle Damaged Art Mask. And then right below that in the description, it says Life Size Bust. Okay, well, it's a bust or it's a mask. You gotta make up your mind. So limited edition is 2029. That's really cool. That's a lot, uh, but that's really cool. Uh, priced at $429. I mean, Terminator shouldn't, uh, shouldn't really have a hard time selling. Coming out January through March of 2021. A lot of people want statues to come out during that time. Stuff gets delayed during that time all the time. I think uh, the new year, uh, not just uh, um, here in the United States, but uh, Lunar New Year, I think, is during that time as well. Stuff always gets delayed. So the Terminator is an infiltration unit. Part man, part machine. Underneath, it's a hyper alloy combat chassis. Microprocessor controlled, fully armored. Very tough. I mean, who doesn't know uh, the Terminator? So this is actually Battle Damaged Edition art mask from actually from Terminator 2 uh, Judgment Day. So it's a uh, specially crafted based on the sculpt of the previous T-800 art mask and features an authentic and detailed battle scarred endo skull torn from a Model 101. Is this could be mounted on the wall? Wow, that's really cool. It's a neat idea, but up close details look uh, fantastic. Got an LED light up eyes for burned effect. You know, this was uh, uh, something as a kid, I always wanted a Terminator collectible like this, either the arm or a bust or, you know, a life size, you know. I thought I was going to be making a lot more money uh, as a kid to be able to buy a life-size statue, but uh, one of my favorite movies. This is the first movie I ever remember. Well, not Judgment Day. The original was the first movie I ever remember uh, seeing in the theater. So I'm a big fan of uh, those uh, first couple of movies. So 17.7 inches tall. Looks like it can be mounted on the wall. So that LED effect is going to be uh, just going to be awesome, awesome looking. Right, we've got uh, something new and something different here from Queen Studios. This is their their Aquaman as a part of their uh, cartoon series is what it says. This is uh, it says in this incredibly detailed uh, statue, the king of the seven seas surfs on a beautiful blue wave as he defends from an ongoing attack from his evil half brother Orm Marius better known as the Ocean uh, Master. So they released a behind the scenes look at the clay model of the cartoon Aquaman. Wow, that is a, a, a dopey looking cartoon face there, but got a lot of bright uh, colors on it. Really a cool kind of different cartoony style. Um, I really I actually really uh, like the look of this um, actually it looks really uh, fun I'd love how the colors pop in it so cool stuff there from Queen Studios all right so there was a statue that I forgot to talk about actually last week from uh, Queen Studios this is the uh, TGIF uh, number one by uh, Evan Lee she is uh, priced at three hundred dollars it uh, looks like uh, it's a uh, it's a good license, so be able to order it here in the United States. She's a TGF number one. Thank God it's Friday. One third scale statue by Evan Lee. 
Queen Studios and Modology made out of polystone, which is about 17.5 centimeters tall. What the heck is a centimeter anyway? I know the rest of the world knows that, but uh, I don't. So full price, sorry, deposit is $300. Full price, $765. Pre-order ends August 26th of 2020 august 26 so i don't know what's going on with this statue so it says tgif number one is a humanoid female warrior from evan lee's uh, dystopian universe uh, she disarms her enemies with her voluptuous yeah no kidding female form and innocent expression uh she, she, you know she, she doesn't look so innocent to me this only serves as a distraction this warrior has a cold and precise interior which is visible in her mechanical limbs if you have any doubts on her power the enormous gun on her back serves as a chilling reminder i don't know what this is i thought it was a a pretty uh, interesting queen studio says it's uh, sold out in a lot of uh territories i put it in my cart um just a few minutes ago not sure if that means anything but it appears uh to be readily uh available at least for um uh, north america i'm not sure um how much longer that is going to last but not very familiar with the character but Still wanted to cover it here too. Now let's go over and we'll talk some uh, sideshow collectibles who had a big beast of a pre-order this week. This is the Bane, uh, actually maquette. They're calling it a maquette, not a premium format figure. Well, I wonder why they're calling it that. Hmm. I mean, he's more on a, like a museum pose. He doesn't have any mixed media. Why is it a maquette? And not a premium format figure. Usually maquettes like Thanos it usually means they're gonna charge us a premium price for that. I guess the Silver Surfer is a maquette too. I'm not seeing really a whole lot of difference between this Bane and the original Bane. I mean there are differences but you know I guess this one doesn't have any mixed media. Is that the difference? They're both on kind of a uh, you know, rubbly bases. Uh, classic Bane is on the, uh, the the bat signal smashed, and he's just on what looks like might be the bat bike or uh, might be a Batmobile smashed. We'll look at the description and find out. But this guy's uh, exclusive, uh, limited edition, uh, to be determined. Priced at six hundred and sixty dollars. You get that sideshow exclusive. Uh, extra portrait so this says the bane maquette is breaking his way into the lineup of dc comics collectibles he stands uh 26 inches tall on the debris of a damaged uh, batmobile see read the description you'll find out with one wheel removed and its front bumper peeled apart eager for a real challenge the ruthless king of peña duro cracks his bloody knuckles in anticipation of a battle against Batman while fueled by the venom drug in his vein. So polyresin Bane Maquette features an entirely sculpted costume and an incredible muscular physique inspired by his appearance in DC Comics. There's very much more uh, akin to that, the first appearance and that Nightfall storyline. He wears a black rustling uniform, scuffed and bloodstained at the knees. Additionally, Bane has textured lace-up boots, a pair of black gloves, and a silver belt holding the tank of venom, which is pumped into the villain via the vibrant green tombs attached to his neck, head, and left wrist. So who is he made by? So artists are Casey Love did the paint, the sideshow design and development team did the costume and development and daniel bell just says design and sculpt richard luong design the kucherik brothers probably pronouncing that wrong uh, did the design as well so another uh, daniel bell piece his knees are messed up his uh, elbow was messed up he looks like he was just in a brawl and i really like that so i already have and that <sighs> That is a great picture. That's probably the picture that sold me on pre-ordering this piece. So I already have a Bane in my collection. Why am I ordering another one? Well, I want to see which one is better. And uh, whichever one I don't like, I will sell. 
or maybe I'll display one for a while, box up the other and, and switch it out every now and then. I don't know, but I actually was not intending on pre-ordering this piece. Actually uh, posted on my Instagram. I put him side by side with the OG, you know, thinking, oh, the OGs, I already have him. I won't need him. I put him side by side and I was like, hmm, hmm interesting interesting so i actually i pre-ordered them i'm gonna get them see which one is better put them side by side i think he uh, I, I i think he looks great a lot of people don't like the abs but you know some people have abs like that um you know uh, just uh just the way they're born but he looks really cool i really like a lot of the a lot of the details on there you know the old school bane is like hulked up he's he's got uh venom uh, ready to pop out of his skull and his body and this one uh while he's still pumped up he's not quite as as a roid raged as the other venom and here he is next to that uh, mr freeze and that mix mr i was gonna say mr scarecrow and the scarecrow with his arm uh yes in the uh, right location and his belt uh not broken so um uh, as I sit here shooting this, people keep messaging me. Yeah, dude, watch the watch the unboxing. Maybe watch the unbox. Maybe watch the out of the box before you unbox it. <laughs> I tend not to watch those because I don't want them to uh, influence uh, my own reaction. I like to get fresh, but in this case, uh, I probably should have uh, <laughs> checked out the scarecrow unboxing and and maybe uh, I probably snapped the belt uh, when I pulled them out of the box too. So if I would have watched that, I don't know if they tell you to be careful of that or anything but he's got a lot of frail and fragile uh, little pieces on him got to be really careful when you uh, unbox that scarecrow statue but i do love him he looks hella better in person than he does in pictures on the sideshow website and that's not something we say say often uh, but speaking of uh, out of the boxes Oh, the Sideshow did release an out of the box of the uh, Mr. Freeze premium format that we're seeing here. No, I'm not going to watch that out of the box video. I mean, this one should be uh, pretty straightforward uh, to uh, put together. So just make sure that uh, I'm not uh, exhausted from work and trying to stay up late to get uh, my unboxing done uh, on a certain date. Just gotta uh, take my uh, take my my time with that. But these three look uh, awesome together. They look awesome together. And Scarecrow looks, you know, much better in person. How are those other two is gonna gonna look too? So I'm uh, really looking forward to to seeing them. All right, well, now we got a statue here from uh, Star Ace Toys. They actually have two different versions of a statue, one with the gun and one with the spear. So this is a Caesar. The gun version statue by Star Ace Toy Toys is a $289. This is from the War of the Planet of the Apes movie, uh, which I have not seen yet. Is that movie any good? I think people like it, but uh, I've seen the other two, haven't seen this one. We gotta go back and uh, watch them all. He's uh, expected to come out uh, January uh, through March of 2021. That is a popular time period. Uh, during this video, which I guess is uh, better than some of the 2022 statues we've been seeing. So this is from uh, the picture says War of the Planet of the Apes. The description says in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, the first talking ape Caesar led the apes in a rebellion against the humans. OK, that took place in the first episode. But this is from a War of the Planet of the Apes. So statues poly uh, resin soft vinyl. Approximately 39 centimeters tall, which is about uh, 15 inches um, poly resin and vinyl. So, and I haven't seen this movie. I probably should. I did like the first two. So probably watch this one. But uh, a smaller, uh, smaller scale. He's only 15 inches tall, and uh, he is um, on a horse. Uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely a, a smaller scale uh, statue there from. Ace toys it doesn't say what the um what the the scale is but it's probably i'm guessing like one tenth scale being 15 inches on a horse is a is a, a pretty small scale but anyway uh, looks cool right now let's uh, check out a statue here from weta workshop i think i was saying a weta so this is a uh, the uh, gandalf the gray pilgrim a one six scale classic series priced at a three hundred 
and $49. Um, he is uh, shipping uh, worldwide to uh, all um, all of uh, Weta's work warehouses uh, expected delivery is a uh, 2021 they've also got this ring wraith here who is a uh, 349 dollars also expected around a uh, 2021 but the workshop also allows a uh, payment plan so that's a uh, really cool we've also have a uh, gandalf uh, the white 119 dollars and 99 cents so he's a part of the uh, figures of a uh, fandom line expected delivery of uh, january 2021 so this guy is a one eight scale so he's about uh, uh 10 inches tall so a little bit uh, smaller than those uh bigger one six scale pieces uh from weta right last but not least we've got some xm studios with their new a uh, red hood a uh, rebirth uh, statue edition size uh, made to order but with a maximum of a 599 so this is part of that uh, one a six scale dc line so up for pre-order now on the xm studios website and uh, all the places you can get uh, xm studios uh, stuff this guy's a worldwide uh, license so he is uh, available from places like uh, big bad toy store uh, gfx distribution direct from the xm studios website estimated shipping to north america is uh, about 280 uh, sgt so uh, not uh, not uh, too expensive i guess uh, uh so that's about uh, 200 us dollars actually take that back for a one six scale piece this is um this is actually a bit expensive for for a one uh, six scale but i really do like uh, this uh, this dc lineup I, I love this picture here with his um red hood actually beat off so he has a, a clean version and then he has the uh, battle damage version uh, which I, I really like so one six scale uh, xm studios is uh, doing some really good things like the really i uh, like the look of them right so that's it uh for this week's uh previews and pre-orders let me know what you think of uh, what, what i covered in the comment section below is there anything that you've got your eye on anything that you uh, think was a dud i know for me i uh, pre-ordered that bane statue uh, i said i was going to pre-order multiples of characters unless it's uh, batman or superman or wolverine or any of my uh my my top uh, characters but i only plan on holding on to one of these uh, bane statues so I did a uh, uh, pre-order the Bane statue. I also pre-ordered this guy here, which is the uh, Megatron uh, Deluxe uh, from uh, 3-0. This is a, uh, I, I'm not gonna say one six scale, but it's one six scale size, so it matches up with the one six scale. This is the one six scale uh, transformer. So what 3-0 is doing is they are producing a higher end figures of the, uh, the characters from uh, Transformers Siege, A War of Cybertron, their new series on Netflix. And that is actually based on the toys uh, themselves. Um, so they modeled uh, the toys, they scanned the toys or scanned the toys, but they had the 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 but they had the fi digital files from the toys and they that's what they based the characters in the series on and so these are the, the deluxe versions so they come with all of the uh the, the kibble as they call it so like you see uh, this on megatron's back is a, a piece that's put on the toy so that he can actually uh, transform but you can uh, take some of that uh, kibble off so he has a lot of that stuff that's put on the toy to make it transform that wouldn't necessarily uh, be there uh, normally in his animated style but uh, i put the this guy uh, on pre-order uh, then as i mentioned i did uh, do the unboxing of that uh, uh, that scarecrow uh, got a, a broken piece there and uh, i had a uh, way too much trouble putting that thing together than i should i, I cut out a, a little bit uh, of the unboxing i tried to keep my cool uh, when I found out that piece was broken, um, but uh, I, I actually edited out a lot of the uh, screaming and a uh, mother effing I was uh, spitting out of my mouth after that broken piece. Even though it's a small piece, I'm gonna get some uh, 
a little bit of super glue and just touch it on there and it will be fine and if i sent it to sideshow they would uh, uh probably i don't know throw me 40 bucks or uh, maybe uh, replace it if i asked them to you know i'm not entirely certain i didn't break that uh, when i pulled it out of the box anyway but it got a lot of fragile pieces but uh, i really do like that statue you know, sideshow did their out of the box with the mr freeze premium format that means he's probably uh, about uh, two to three weeks away make sure i get a good night's sleep before i unbox him actually having a uh I, i've got a big work project that i'm working on and i'm about a, a month and a half away from that but it's uh it's uh definitely uh, uh taxing my brain a bit so make sure i am uh, nice and rested up uh, for that hope you enjoyed uh, this latest episode of statue talk uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on what i covered in this week's episode in the comment section below uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of my latest unboxings and reviews. And if you missed the Kato Kid, uh, make sure you check out our show called Sloppy Talk, where uh, Kato and I sit around and uh, and talk about uh, movies, uh, video games, and, and basics of uh, what's going on in our life and the things that interest us. Check out our website over at uh, Sloppy Entertainment. That's sloppyent.com for regular updates on what's going on on the channel and remember collecting is more than just a hobby it's a lifestyle my name is joe thanks for watching